In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hand sew a pencil box with an elastic band so you can put it on top of your notebook and you can always have pencil and uh, supplies with you. For supplies, we will need the cover fabric and the lining fabric of your choice and it depends on the size of your pencil box and the size of your zipper. You can adjust the size of the fabric and the zipper according to the notebook you want to use. And don't forget to leave the same allowance too. And this is the pouch that's my inspiration. It's handmade and it has a lining. It's just a basic pouch. And I think it's very useful to put little things and get organized. This is another pencil box I made. It looks more three-dimensional just because each end, the folding is different. There is also a ribbon at the end and you can see the lining of a different fabric. It's also hand-sewn and it doesn't have to be perfect. After you gather your fabric and the zipper, make sure you find your dimension and cut it to the size you want. And place the right side of the two fabrics to each other and sew a straight line on both sides. And turn it over, now you have the finished edge on the opposite side. Now we are going to sew the zipper one side at a time. To prepare that, we need to fold in the seam allowance on both cover fabric and the lining fabric first. You can iron it or just fold it with your finger and insert the zipper in between, like a sandwich in between. And do the same on the other side. And you can open up the zipper when needed to make the hand sewing easier. And you can use the running stitch or the back stitch. The back stitch is stronger. I will recommend using the back stitch if you want to hand sew. You can use some pins to secure all three layers. So it's easier to sew by hand. And that's what it looks like after you sew the zippers on both sides. Now you can decide where you want the zipper. You can put it in the middle or on the edge like the regular pouch like that or off-centered in the middle but off-centered. It's up to you. After you decide the seam allowance dimension and the location of the zipper, we can turn the whole project inside out and start sewing the line of the seam allowance to close it up. In my case, I'm going to leave the zipper in the center and uh, sew a line on each side of the pencil box. I use the back stitch so it's more secure. Now we do the back stitch on the seam allowance line on both sides. That's what it looks like after it's done. We will sew one line on each side. And then you can turn it over like so. And remember to poke out the edges so the corner is more square. That's what it looks like. It's almost done. Next, 
we cut a piece of elastic that's matching the size of your notebook. You can try on first to see the right size. And we fold it at the edge and just sew it on top of the pencil box on both sides. And that's what it looks like at the end. And this is what it looks like on the back side. So decide how much you want to fold it on the top. It also covers up the end of the zipper. And then you can start sewing. Again, I use the back stitch. I use a scrap fabric and a double sticky tape to make a little tab for the zipper. I just cut the size I want and fold it into a little square or rectangle. I place it over the metal loop of the zipper and sew it by hand. That's what it looks like at the end. I don't like the light pink thread on the black elastic, so I just paint over it with a black marker a big Sharpie marker. So this is a very simple project, a custom-made pencil box. You can put in any stationery you like. Thank you for watching.